Welcome to um, Comedy Night with when? Matt Kazan. Woo! Woo! How is the whole county ghetto? How is that possible? <laughs> Who is the Grand County Commissioner over there? Little John 50 Cent? Who's running that PG County? I never saw a school bus with ribs. What the hell is going on? PG County, there was an ice cream truck that showed us sold lottery tickets and pampers. That's ghetto, man. That's Before it was great, and, uh, but I hate coming here in the summertime because uh, always somebody want to take me to a crab feast. Man, I mean, you people love your crabs, man. Just, uh, come have some crabs with us, hon. It's so much fun. Crab feast is not that much fun. It's way too much work, but not that much freaking food. <laughs> right? It looks like it's going to be fun because they bring a bushel of crabs. And what does a bushel of crabs cost now? Thirty, forty thousand dollars a bushel. Why <laughs> buy the crabs so expensive? The days work freaking man. I stick my penis in right there and catch six of those bastards. <laughs> Four of those bastards. Um, and one would come by and be curious, what is that? So, no, and it, 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 it looks like it's gonna be fun because they give you that whack a mole racket, right? You start whacking and smacking, you get crab juices popping your eye, burning you. I got old bay up to my nipples, give me a rash. Uh, and it'd be good if there was some meat in the damn thing. There's so no meat in the crab. Except that one bastard at the crab feast. It's a big hunk of meat. He's got to show you the meat before you can eat it, right? Look what I got. Look what I got. Sucking on a claw like the back of my head's going to cave in. Patrol. Patrol. Look at you. Some of your parents are paying your bills, aren't you? I'm going to make shit for as long as I can. Wait till the real world is coming. I'm waiting. Uh, but, uh, see, I think about Mezcal. Do you know Mezcal? Yeah, I got the worm in it. And people take this oh, yeah, shit the worm in the bottom bottle of Mezcal. Who's whose face have you heard that? Hey, you drink a freaking bottle of Mezcal? You get a little taste for chicken at that point. It doesn't happen. Right here. <laughs> oh man, don't mix with anything. Oh my god. They got All that tequila and gold slaw. Ooh. Yeah, shit, I taste it. So, uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah. Because he can just go, Fancy Seabuck and Taxi Republic! No, no, no. I realized how out of shape and fat I am. I actually played this video game with my nephew. We were playing this Wii video game. You guys know the Wii video game, right? Yeah. Right, right. Half game, half heart attack, if you mean like, Arrgh! 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 I'm living like that. I just want to cook with my shoulder. Why did you go to the gym? I play virtual solitaire. What the hell is with this Wii? Oh, they're worse than that. I played the Wii Fit. You know the Wii Fit? Okay, those you don't know, it's a little module you stand on it based on your movements. You control the guy on the screen. But before you can use it, you have to calibrate your height and weight. So I stand on the machine for legs, <sighs> obese. <laughs> like my self-esteem's not bad enough that I can take shit from Mario. <laughs> this pack makes an email me, you're a fat bastard. That's my life right now. And then they're worse than that. Then it gives you a fat character that you cannot change. <laughs> so you actually in real life. <laughs> I just want to play the ski game. <laughs> I'm in therapy. This sucks. I went to the event the Wii Couch. I'm gonna mess up the Wii Couch. I'm gonna be living. I'm kidding. So what do you major? What do you major? Oh, man. MIS. You're gonna be a computer guy. You're gonna go back to Russia. Steal all identities. Some bitch. You know? <laughs> None of these statements are endorsed by the student event board. So I can say whatever the hell I want. Are you going to go back? You're not going back, right? Hell no! No, oh, it's nice here, right? Hey, you told me I couldn't say fuck. Man, you can move right there next to like, uh, you know, the, 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 the working stripes. And you got your picture right there. Go out and just whatever a lot of people talk about. Well, kind of. Kind of. Started really? This is on the internet. This on this magazine. Really? Because I can be your next feature. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Really? Uh, hanging in Baltimore, huh? What, 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 what was last month about? What was your topic last month? Well, last month I went to New York. Well, I think I'm like a teacher in class. <laughs> oh, you went to New York? Yeah, I went to the sex museum, so it was about that. Uh, okay, getting, getting gifts in the gift shop. I 
What'd you get? Would you tell me anything? <laughs> Okay, so, uh, so, okay, what, what'd you get for the gift shop? Um, glow, dark condoms, flavor, <laughs> <laughs> Look at the boss. He's like, man, yeah, this is my dream come true. So, so tell us your name. My name is Rustam. So, what'd you think of Matt Kazam? He's alright. No problems. He's okay. Oh, you feel okay? Yeah. <laughs> That was pretty funny. He had some good jokes. Okay. Your name, please? I'm Cynthia. What do you think of Matt Cynthia? I thought it was hilarious. I liked how he got everyone involved, too. Yeah, he definitely got you involved. Too. I know. The badge. <laughs> oh, I thought he was pretty cool. I thought it was really cool how he got people to participate, and I, of course, love my cameo. <laughs> Hello, so what's your name? Hi, I'm Brian Gavin. You major? Uh, creative writing English. So what do you think of Matt Kazam? I thought he was funny and appropriate for what we got going on here. He knew a lot about the area, it was funny. Do you have any, like, preferred jokes that he had, or? The, uh, the filtering money back into the PG County school system was hysterical, man. Would you want him back to come back to this university? Yeah, I'd see him again, definitely. Here we go. Thank you. How the hell you simulation that Okay, Matt, you've been on uh, some of the big shows, such as the NBC's uh, last comic standing and Comedy Central stand up, stand up. How different is it to perform at University of Baltimore? Uh, the University of Baltimore is, I mean, I, I live in D.C. now, so uh, I kind of know enough about Baltimore so I can incorporate all that in the show. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, it's it's not the biggest show I've ever done, but uh, it feels like I'm doing it at home, so uh, that, that part helps a lot. All right, this is, uh, I think, the second time you perform yeah. here in the University of Baltimore. How do you compare it to the first time you performed here? Uh, oh, no, this one's a thousand times better. Uh, I think, you know, like I said, it, the, the first one was good, but I think this time Diana and everyone put their really hard into it and, fill, and did the best job they could do to fill the room and also they were younger yeah. which I like last time it was like commuter students I don't know half of them were retired so uh, it's weird to work at college when people are in their 70s yeah. so uh, yeah yeah all right, so how would you describe your audience tonight? Uh, good, young, eclectic, diverse, uh, can take a joke. I mean, that's a good thing about uh, young people. They have a good sense of humor, so I can push it further than I could with grown-ups. All right, what are your last words? Uh, last words, uh, I hope they enjoyed the show, and uh, bring me back next year. I got a wife. I got to pay for She likes shoes and heat. So um, uh, I'll take another gig, University of Baltimore, University of Mount Royal Street, whatever you call this place. Uh, I'd love to come back. It's always a good time. Um, he was really funny, actually. I mean, I read all this stuff about he was on Last Comic Standing and all that, so I kind of knew he'd be funny, but I wasn't expecting him to be that funny. He was really good. Um, the planning went good. He was uh, he was pretty easy to work with. He seemed whatever worked for us. He didn't want us to have to go to a lot of fuss for him. Um, I, I was hoping that there would be a bigger turnout than what there was. We had about 40 people, which isn't bad, but we were aiming for between 50 and 60, so I was hoping for more. Um, the promotions on it was really good, so I'm not sure what we could have done to increase the turnout other than maybe have it earlier or on a different day or something. Um, sound, lighting, all that went really well. Um, I don't know, I just, Joe and Anthony did a lot of work working in the booth, making sure the sound was running, so we had music playing when people walked in, and doing the lighting and everything, setting it all up. And they worked really hard on that. And then Summit and Gabby and Diana did a lot of work right before the event, passing out flyers downstairs, talking to the people in the law event, and trying to get a lot of people coming. They worked really hard on it. Just like the Cuban guy, Matt Kazam had um, words of praise for you too, that you did an excellent job keeping in touch with him in terms of planning and everything. What's your reaction to that? Um, he, he was, he, he kind of flowed with Cuban Guy quite a bit, I, I think that's one of the reasons he was so easy to plan. Um, I started talking to him about setting up a date at, during the summer, last summer, the same time I was talking to the Cuban Guy. Um, I turned in the catering forms and everything, and it all really flowed along at the same rate. So, 
anything I was doing for the Cuban guy, I was also doing for Matt Kazam. And even when I split off and handed Cuban guy stuff off to Yashi, I was kind of keeping track on where he was and going along with that so that he would say that basically the same thing as the Cuban guy doesn't surprise me. Seems like you're really enjoying your job. Um, I am. I'm, I'm having a lot of fun.